When it comes to progressine in Primavera P6, especially long activities, there is a problem. P6 does not capture and store historical period entries. That is actually a problem that we're going to solve, and I'm going to show you how we're going to solve it soon. Let me show you what the problem is, though. Check out this diagram. Let's say we are looking at one activity that's fairly long, and it spans a couple of different periods, week one to week six. We're going to install 25 units or sections of fence. Let's see how historical values are handled in Primavera P6 through this example. In the first week, I have completed three sections. I've installed three sections. So I would type into P6 actual units equals three. If I look at the historical um, record in P6, it will say three. But watch what happens in week two. In week two, my productivity went up. I was able to accomplish five units. So now I'm a total of eight actual units. But what P6 does is it rewrites how many actual units I did in the first week to four. It takes the average, it takes eight and averages it out over the period. Let's see it week three. Week three, I was able to accomplish eight. I increased my productivity significantly. I installed eight units. But again, P6 takes my total actual units of 16 and averages them out over the three time periods. Week four is more the same. My values keep changing in the week if I look at the historical uh, values. And lastly, by the end of it, you can see that P6 takes my 25 actual units installed, divides them over the six weeks for an average of 4.16 units per week. Of course, you can see that this is inaccurate and not correct. If I was to graph my productivity, you would see that is not a flat line. It is, in fact, a sharp angled curve. Okay. I'm going to show you how we can solve this problem using financial periods or store period performance to capture accurate historical values and store them in each period. When we do that, let's have a look at what the process looks like again. I enter in my actuals and then I store them. That's my lock. I store them and I lock them in. And so that every period I update my actual value, I'm storing it and I'm capturing it. So this is not the default way of working with Primavera P6, but it is a way that we can actually store these actuals on a per period basis and keep them accurate. Now, if you're thinking ahead, think about all of the other fields, not just actual units, but this process affects all of our cost fields, uh, many of our earned value fields as well. So you can see how storing period performance and keeping track of historical actuals in an accurate way could really benefit us. That's what we're gonna learn in this module, how stored period performance works how it solves this problem of averaging historicals and how I can use it to leverage uh, better analytics in Primavera P6 to manage my project.